Hello everyone and welcome to my brand new let's play of Ark Survival Evolved. Throughout this playthrough I plan to embark on an epic journey to defy expectations, overcome trials and tribulations, defeat every overseer, guardian and challenge that the game has to offer and to get my hands on the epic prize that is Mjolnir and Fenrir. I'll be playing the game from start to finish, mostly solo, though I say mostly, as after every milestone that is a beta level boss victory, I'll be inviting you, the players, to come join my servers, allowing for the potential of cooperation and silly shenanigans throughout the journey. And a journey I must say that I am very excited to embark on, and that I hope that you enjoy watching. And with that theatrical introduction out of the way, here we are in the humble map of the- Oh god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> here we are on the humble map of the islands. Oh god, okay, so uh, the Halloween event just started and I really was not ready for that just to appear out of nowhere. Oh my god, Scarecrow, thanks. That really did scare me. Anyway, yes, here we are, finally. I've been excited and wanted to play Ark again for so, so long. My goodness. So. As some of you may have noticed, brand new channel, very, very excited. I've got uh, big goals for this channel and big goals for this playthrough as well. For any potential new people we might have. So I had played Lord Vark in the past. I've got about uh, five and a half thousand hours as of recording this. And I have soloed a lot of the game already. Uh, basically, I soloed Island, not Scorched Earth, Aberration and Extinction on Alpha. And uh, I eventually realised during my playthroughs, right, that my lovely alpha solo achievements turned out that uh, I had the wrong ratings and my dados are buffed, which really sucked to find out. Therefore, I've been wanting to do everything all over again anyway. Plus, it's just really fun, isn't it, to have like a nice big overarching goal. Finally finished Genesis Part 1 and Genesis Part 2, plus a couple of the DLC maps as well, like Fjorda, like Crystal Isles, Lost Islands. Do all the custom bosses, I think will be really cool as well. I just want to like give the game one big final hurrah before Arc 2 comes out, and yes, I'm definitely playing Arc 2. God, I'm so excited. So yeah, like I said, it's like, gonna be like a really nice, long, awesome journey. I thought was enough of fibre for now. <laughs> Let's probably get some wood, some stone might be a good idea. Now, if you're interested in things like server settings, mods, the server is slightly modded, but it's more of like a quality of life mod, so structures plus, uh, stacking mod, super spyglass. In terms of ratings, I'm currently playing near enough official, except my experience is nerfed. I have less than official at the moment because I find experience is just a little bit too fast in the early game. I like that slow, painful early game. I really enjoy it because it just means you get to experience more as opposed to like instantly out leveling it. However, the ratings will be increasing over time. So always check the video description. I'll be updating the ratings and mods, etc. per video whenever things change. And also that way it just means that nothing ever, you know, stagnates. It doesn't get too long or too grinding. We can always keep on moving forward. Right, let's get a bit of clothing. Let's get the stone pick. Oh, bugger. Oh, there's so many old ass, right? Um, uh, let's quickly make a weapon now. Oh, no, I'm not going to die to compies, am I? I'm actually dying to compies. I have double spawns. Uh, that was about four or five of them. Oh, I actually died to compies. Hi there, I've soloed Alpha King Titan and I died to compies. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, uh, yes, I've got double spawns. Uh, that is one important setting to keep in mind. I have the big double spawns, which means um, every... Oh my god, that is vibrant. Wow. That means every now and then I will encounter issues like that. That, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit embarrassing. Wow, so because I died mid-crafting, I actually lost my materials and didn't get the pick. And I've got these three little buggers right down here just staring at me. Look at them! My god, got one over here as well. Let's quickly punch that and get it back over here again. And let's deal with this mess then, if I can reach them. Shall we just agree to never ever talk about this ever again? I think that's a good idea. On the plus side, I now have a hatchet, which means that uh, that little kerfuffle there, hey, yeah, gives me a little hide, so that's actually really worth it in the end. Oh, Joy, would you look at that? A gravestone. Thanks. Right, let's also make myself a couple of spears to defend myself. And then I can look into start making my very first hut. Since my number one advice to new players in this game is always, don't try to avoid dying. You're gonna die and you're gonna die a lot. It's just the nature of this game. It is not a forgiving survival game, even for veterans. Instead, try to make the recovery of death as easy as possible. And the first thing you want to do is get a storage crate and a bed as soon as you possibly can. 
Thankfully, I've already got the hide for my bed, so I don't have the level yet. But what I can do is make a couple of walls. And I'm going to go ahead and make six of them. Grab a couple of doorways as well. Let's just go ahead then and just chuck all of that down like that. Get a couple of doorways as well. One here and one there. And also a couple of storage crates that way I can finally put my things away, such as all of my berries. Um, let's go ahead and put away all of these random Halloween items as well. And I'm making myself a slingshot because I spotted a dillo nearby. I think a dillo would be like a, just a nice little first team. Uh, where about- oh, and I see a- is that a Sarko or a turtle? I think it was a Sarko. Oh god. <laughs> Good old Sarkosuchus. Very, very large crocodile. Yep, I'm pretty sure it's a Sarko all the way over there. Somewhere around here there's also a Dillo. Oh yeah, that's definitely a Sarko. I wonder, what level is this? Let's go find out quickly. If I can- oh, that's definitely a decent- actually, I think that was like 50. <laughs> what, should we- should we try? I mean, you never know. Well, the Sarko's getting bloody, so it's definitely a low level. And it's fleeing. No way. No. Not like this. Let's just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> I actually knocked it out. Level five. Oh my god. Well, that's um. That that works. Uh, why have a Dillo when I can have a Sarko instead? I mean, I'm not going to complain. Now, like I said, it is uh, times one taming, and I've not tamed a Sarko in a. Oh, I've got a horrifically long time, so I'm actually can't remember if they take regular meat. They do, okay, or fish or or fish meat. <laughs> Imagine that level five Sarko. Oh my god. Uh, here's the Dillo. There it is. Uh, what level are you then? You are level ten. Uh, uh, I'd actually rather the meat. I'd rather invest in the Sarko. I mean, level five Sarko or level ten Dillo. I think I'll take the level 5 Sarko. Go ahead and chuck it all onto you. And while I'm at it, I will actually go ahead and get all the berries and perishables, put it on the Sarko as well. Since another little tip for new people is that in this game, uh, items in your own inventory spoil at a regular rate, but they, re but they spoil at half the rate in a creature inventory. And that's quite nice to have up until you get a preserving bin or a fridge. It's a little min-maxi, but it just helps you keep as much meat as possible. Meanwhile, there is also moss chops here as well that the dinner was chasing earlier. What level are you? It's level 17. You require Tinto Berry. Oh, moss chops tame. Let's go. Grab one of you and put you in there. If I can get lucky and get this moss chops as a tame now this early, that's going to be invaluable. Oh god, it's a freaking Kano. Okay, that's a... Uh... That's far less ideal. I do not want to deal with a Cardo. Not this early in the game. The hell did I just drink? Wait, there's liquid here? Wow. I've started this area in the island countless many, many times. Never knew you can drink from the leaves right here. That is so random. Oh, how ominous. I definitely did see that like Cardo earlier and it has completely vanished. Unless it was really low level and got killed by the trikes, I'm not sure where it could have gone. Ah, hope it doesn't pop out later. Okay, so meanwhile, food is going to become an issue not too long from now. So let's see if I can find some dodos, some lystros, any low level things to kill. Or even for a dodo, too tame. <laughs> yeah, okay, of course all the dodos are underneath a bronto. That's fair. Stabby, 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 stabby. And pick the meat off. Oh wow, a tapajara. Here. Interesting. Also a Dillo and a very, very fast little fish there. What level is this Dillo? You're level 20. I'm going to kill you anyway. I'd rather get the meat right now. Are you attacking me? You are actually attacking me. You know what? Fine, I'll take the polymer. My god, I forgot how much health these little things have. For some small little geese. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that... <sighs> well. <clears throat> That's uh... That scared me. <laughs> That's what I was going to say, but like a little goose, I forgot how much health they have. I was not ready for surprise Sarko. Okay, how's my current Sarko doing? Uh, doing fine. It will need uh, Torpor, actually. We'll need some narcotics. Uh, hopefully I can get my stuff back. Okay, good. The Sarko's on land. Uh, in fact, it is distracted. Let me quickly grab my core. It's bugged out. Well, that's better for me then, isn't it? Level 70. Good to know. Good to know. I know I can't harvest meat from my body. I'd rather not risk it right now. Level 70 Sarko. Well, I mean, you saw how easy it is to knock out a Sarko. 
obviously would require a bit more than, you know, a single slingshot. But uh, that, that could be attained. That definitely could be attained later on, perhaps, when I have more resources. Uh, it's distracted on Pteranodon. Good, so I can move on. Right, go ahead and put all the berries away, the polymer, a uh, bit of meat as well, some seeds. Let's go ahead and just knock it up a little bit then, too. And I finally leveled. Excellent. Right, I actually cannot afford a mortar and pestle and narcotics. That is fine. I can afford a bed, but I don't really need one just yet. Uh, so even though I just said earlier that new players should always get a bed, I'm quite familiar with this map, especially my little corner of the world. So I'm actually going to avoid that because I should be able to get to my base relatively quickly if I die again. What do you need next? More tinder berries. Let's go. Two feeds down, two to go. Come on, get lucky. That's a raptor. That is absolutely a raptor. Right there next to me. Well, all I can do is go for it. Level 45. Ah, oh, that would be a nice tame. But yeah, not a chance, not a chance. Oh dear, oh dear. So unfortunately, I'm not at a level yet where I can make bowlers and there's no easy way of killing that raptor. I especially really don't want to go near the Sarko. I can't remember for sure. I'm not sure if raptors naturally attack Sarkos, but I'm not going to take the chance either. So all I can really do now is uh, just repeatedly suicide kited away and hope for the best. Oh, but that's not going to happen though, because it just... Oh no, she's fleeing. Okay, it just got uh, feared by the parasaur. Are you on me? Are you on me? Yes, you're on me. Run away! Oh, I regret... Oh, no, you're not on me. Oh, okay. Uh... It did harvest my corpse, which meant it healed all the damage that I dealt to it. It's off, though. I think it may have just been reset entirely. Yeah, yeah, it got reset. Oh, okay, I'm fine. Uh, for now, I'm fine for now. But I really need to learn how to make bonus quickly. Actually, I'm going to do something a little bit crazy. Um, I am seeing this orange drop right here, the candy corn Halloween drops, and I am not sure if that's got a level requirement. If it doesn't, this might be quite a cheeky little grab. The only downside is that there does tend to be Trudons in this area, and during the night time, Trudons are hella aggressive. So, um, let's hope it's worth it. Nice gentle landing. And I got, ooh! Okay, interesting. Got a whole bunch of uh, prime meat, which would actually be really good on the Sarko right now. Prime fish meat and prime regular meat. Now the question is, can I get it back in time? Because that is going to spoil fast. That's a raptor. Ah, shoot on. Yep, yep, like I said. Okay, well, that's uh... a... <laughs> that's not happening. Okay. Look, if I could get it on the Sarko, that'd be incredible. But there's no way I'm getting it from the Trudons. And by the way, um... Oh. I thought that was a freaking wyvern. Jesus Christ, I was about to like Dodo wyvern. Yeah, um, hi, Dodo Rex, Halloween event. My God though, could you imagine? The full moon having a Dodo Rex means that a Dodo Rex is currently up, which for those who don't know, is basically a really crazy world boss. It is really, really powerful. And uh, could you imagine if it was actually like somewhere nearby? Imagine that, that'd be a way to start the early game. Dodo Rex on your face. Oh God, I'm gonna jinx myself, aren't I? Meanwhile, moss chops. No, rare mushroom. Oh, so unlucky. Unfortunate. Oh, God. You mean it wasn't already? Hmm, that's, uh, oh, that's, that's extra spicy. That's concerning. So now that I have my torch out, I wonder, can I grab my stuff from the Trudons? They, I don't know where they are right now, but they're just somewhere around here in general. Quickly grab that and run away. Right, well, Masaka's nearly finished anyway, but let's see what I got for it. I did get a little bit of prime meat salvaged in the end. No rare mushrooms, unfortunately. Got a couple of veg, which is not too bad. You know what? I'm just going to eat the veg myself. It's not like I can really make use of it right now. I got a Sarko. I got a Sarko. What level are you? Or oh, level. Um, what gender is it? She is female. What can I name the Sarko? For some reason, I, I don't know why. I'm just kind of feeling Sally. I mean, just... Sally the Sarko. Seems good. Very, very damaged though. She did not get any healing whatsoever. Right, now I wonder, what level is the saddle? Level 35. Not too long, but not soon enough. Well, hopefully she doesn't die by the time I can use her. I'll tell you what I will do, actually. I'm going to quickly make a campfire. Uh, just plop that down there for now. Put some wood in it. And I'm going to cook up the prime because right now I'm not doing very good on food. 
it'd just be better off using for me to eat than to try taming for any creature because I'm not going to get the chance to use any of it anytime soon. May as well eat it. And meanwhile, pop down a couple of ceilings, get that sorted. Can I make a bed yet? Not quite yet. So I figured, currently, while it's night time, while we're in the early game and everything's new and shiny, I'm going to do a bit of a run. I'm going to go run up the local beach, maybe get an experience cash or two just to get like a bit of bonus levels and just see what creatures we have to look forward to. You know what I'm really not looking forward to is the sheer amount of seagulls that are everywhere. Oh my god, there are just too many seagulls. I mean, that is what I get for playing with double spawns, but, uh... Oh, jeez, hello. Okay, well, didn't really get to see anything exciting. There is a raptor, and I don't see anything else. Okay, all right. There's another raptor there. Not really going to fight the chain of events right now. Maybe the track can kill the other raptor as well if I stand over here. <laughs> you never know. There might be a metal tool on that corpse. Oh yeah, that raptor got bloody sweet. Okay, oh, there is loot. There is arrows. And actually, ramshackle boots are kind of an upgrade right now. And you, we also have a spear. All right, all right, not bad, not bad. Oh, well, that's something. Great, that's something to look forward to right there. We've got a skeletal stego and an alpha skeletal carno next to a regular carno as well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Actually, you know, fun fact, Back when I first started playing the game for the very first time, um, we- oh, there's a Rex as well! It was a regular Rex, but still a Rex. I never got to see the Skeletal Dinos because the last Fear Evolved event happened. The Spino as well! Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Alpha, Skeletal Carno, Rex, and Spino. Lovely. Uh, as I was gonna say, <laughs> the event stopped happening when I started playing. The very last one occurred just when I began, so I was too new to experience it. And I never ever saw another one again until like, you know, a couple of years later. So I totally missed out on Fear Evolved, and uh, now I get to experience it in the brand spanking new early game. Oh boy. Oh, well, that's my life. Gone. Goodbye. Oh, Jesus Christ, I just touched that trude on. Um... Cool, didn't aggro, not gonna complain. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Is it coming back? There's two of them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's right there. Um, okay, Sally might be in danger. Depends on the level of the raptors. Sally may very well be in danger. What level are bowlers? Nine, I still can't get bowlers yet. Oh, I really mucked that one up, didn't I? There's a raptor to my left and a raptor to my right. And she has nothing on her. No, doesn't matter. Yep, she's going for it. You are level 70. You're the 70 from earlier. No. Mm. Don't kill Sally. <laughs> Please don't kill Sally. Now would be a good time for a bed. Yo. Okay. Um... Cool, don't want to know you. Oh, Jesus, well, how did you... Yeah, I'm not, not going to argue. Mm-mm, not going to argue by the slightest. You know, I've not gotten... No! Oh, that's devastating! And that means the raptor's still an issue. Oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. Yep, you can see the raptor's harvesting away. There's another one right next to me as well. Oh, crud. I just cannot learn the bowler. Well, right then. I think... Uh, <laughs> so I'm in that kind of dead space right now where, because I'm playing official rates, I gotta go spend some time harvesting anyway to get, like, wood, thatch, stone, etc. Um, so I think now might actually be a good time to end the episode. <laughs> I think I might just build elsewhere. What a shame. What a roller coaster. Okay, okay. I had nothing too important on me. I think I'm just going to start another hut. So thank you very much for watching. And I really hope you've enjoyed it. It's a very, very unlucky spawn so far. But that's what I get for playing with double spawns. Yes, hope you're looking forward to it. I'll see you guys all in the next one. And I know it's very cheeky of me to ask, but if you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. I know it's really cheeky, but brand new channel. You know, let's try and get things rolling, shall we? Let's try and get like a nice strong beginning. 
So yes, do like and subscribe, recommend it to your friends, and I'll see you all very soon. <laughs>